Hi, I'm John Whalen. I'm period three coach Batty, and today I'll be talking about syphilis. Syphilis is a bacterial infection usually spread by sexual contact. The disease starts as a painless sore, typically on your genitals, rectum, or mouth. Syphilis spreads from person to person via skin contact or contact with mucous membrane. The cause of syphilis is a bacterium called Temprona pallidemium. The most common route for syph of transmission through syphilis is by contact of an infected person's sore during sexual activity. Common ways to contract the disease are engaging in unprotected sex, having sex with multiple partners, being a male and having sex with males, and having sex with someone who's infected with HIV, contracting HIV. HIV is the virus that spreads AIDS. The first sign of syphilis is usually a small sore called a ch chancre. The so canker. The sore appears at a spot where the bacteria entered your body. While most people are infected with syphilis, develop only one canker. Some people develop several of them. The canker will usually develop about three weeks after exposure. Many people who have syphilis don't notice the canker because it's usually painless, and it may be hidden within the vagina or rectum. The canker will heal on its own within three to six weeks. Secondary syphilis is when within a few weeks of the original canker, healing may experience a rash that begins on your trunk, but eventually covers your entire body, even the palms of your hands and soles of your feet. This rash usually is not itchy and may be accompanied with wart-like sores on your mouth or genital area. Some people experience hair loss, muscle aches, a fever, sore throat, and swollen lymph nodes. These signs and symptoms may disappear within a few weeks or repeatedly come and go for as long as a year. Treatments for syphilis are having periodic blood tests and exams to make sure you're responding with the correct doses of penicillin for your follow-up will depend on the stage of syphilis that you were diagnosed with. Avoid sexual contact with new partners until the treatment has been completed and blood tests indicate that the infection has been cured. Also notify any previous or current sex partners so that they can get tested and treatment if necessary, and then test for HIV regularly. Thank you.